television, as well as primetime and afternoon shows. So uh, two generations of children were exposed to science fiction on television thanks to Bob Wilkins. In addition, we have Ghost of Honor, Edgar Pamboy. A seminal writer who has deserved recognition for a while. Our fan guests of honor, who I believe are in the room, are Pierre and Sandy Pettinger. Okay. Who have been um, active in many kinds of fan activity, including APAs, costuming, con running, uh, f uh, fanzines. Uh, yes, they are out there. They've also done, uh, Pierre has done amazing work with the International Costume Archives. Our first professional guest of honor is author Chelsea Quinn Yardrow. Now we do, will have more professional guests of honor, but their agents didn't want to talk to us till we were seated. However, we have one more I want to introduce to you. Our final professional guest of honor, Spider Robinson. And uh, I was thrilled. Um, we had to uh, be persuasive, but we convinced him that it was uh, an honor that was overdue and deserved. And I'm really glad that we get to uh, honor Spider at our Worldcon. I would like to bring up a few members of the team who you will all be dealing with. Cindy Scott, would you come up for a moment? <coughs> Cindy has been our treasurer for the bid and will be the treasurer for Worldcon 76. Uh, she helps me. She helps me dot the I's and cross the T's, and right next to her is my executive assistant, Debbie Brett Schneider. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring everyone up because like I said, I can only wear this suit for so long. Um, our last slide is our rates. Full at, um, supporting is $50, and full attending is 160. We have a PR zero, which are Lovely volunteers, Fred and Leanne are distributing right now. And we will be open for registration from 11 till 5 today and 11 till 3 tomorrow. Uh, we do ask your patience if you voted because we have paper lists we have to go through to confirm your eligibility. And that's all I have to say to you this morning. We look forward to showing you the way to San Jose. Oh, yes, there will be a victory party tonight. Are yeah. there? Are there any questions for Worldcon 76? No, Worldcon 75. I, if you want to go, Mr. Kowalczyk. So since this came up with Worldcon 75, uh, and I believe this is an access issue. Will you be charging extra for paper publications by mail? No. The default is electronic publications, and we believe that the cost savings we get from having that as a default can cover the small percentage of people who request paper. You do have to opt in to receive paper and uh, we also request. Yes, dear. <laughs> I was about to say that. We do ask that you specify whether a single copy for a household is adequate or you want one for every membership at a household. But the default is electronic. You can opt in for paper. There is not an upcharge for paper with us. Are there any, Mr. Caswell? Okay. Please come to the microphone. I'm a pre-supporter of the bid, and I do not have internet access. How can I, how can I be contacted? I'm a pre-supporter of the bid, and I voted, and I do not have internet access. How can I determine what my discount will be? <laughs> if you visit the table today, we can take care of you today. Okay. Or tomorrow. We have all of the upgrade paths built into our registration system already, and our admins are ready to handle them. We just ask your patience as we go through the eligibility lists. We, we uh, 
do, had, have noted who has opted out of electronic notification, and we'll be contacting you by mail, but obviously that will happen after this weekend. We have an upgrade path for everyone, whether you are online or not. Any other questions? Nope. Seeing none, you can go start checking paper lists. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait. We do have one bit of business, Ms. Coxon. Tammy Coxon, WISPIS Division Head, and in that position, I present you with your future Worldcon Chair Ribbon. Thank you. <laughs> All right, anything else? All right, I will re-recognize Mr. Lee uh, to give a rundown of the 2017 NASVIC results. All right, for the 2017 NASVIC, there were 425 valid votes. 211 were needed to win. Valley Forge had 182 votes. San Juan had 200, 233 votes, making them the winner of the 2017 NASVIC. Yes, Ms. Secor, your point of personal privilege. Before we allow the 2017 NASVIC to speak, I would also like to thank Michael Lee for all of his hard work in making site selection go. And now we're done for the year. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting there. Wow, everybody really wants to go fast today. Um, do I have a motion to thank the tellers, declare the results final, and destroy the ballots? So moved and seconded. Is there any objection? Seeing none, the ballot shall be destroyed. And now, Mr. Vasquez, where are you? Right there. Would you like to give a presentation for San Juan? Buenos dias, familia. Buenos dias, senor. <laughs> if you don't know me already, I am Pablo Vasquez, and I was the chair for San Juan in 2017. <clears throat> Thankfully, and thank you to all of you voters for voting in the site selection. I'd especially like to thank, of course, Valley Forge for being such admirable competition. Uh, there's a saying in Puerto Rican boxing that when you get in the ring, prepare to dance, and uh, thank you for that very long waltz. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the folks of Site Selection uh, for all the hard work they did. Uh, it was long and arduous, but we did it. And uh, yes, uh, could you please start this slide? Oh, it's up. Okay, could you go back? <laughs> Yes, these are our guests of honor for North America on 17 in San Juan, Puerto Rico, July 6th through the 9th. Uh, we have here uh, Diana Chaviano, which is one of the best-selling science fiction and fantasy authors in Latin America. We have Tobias Buckle, who is a great author uh, from Granada and uh, is very happy to go back to the Caribbean in style. Uh, we have George Paris, famed uh, comic book artist cool. and illustrator, and a personal favorite of mine, of course. Okay. Uh, we have Brother Guy, Consul Magno. And we believe it was about time he was honored in such a way. Uh, we have also Javier Brio Marshak from uh, Lost, uh, from his work on Lost, and also, of course, the upcoming reboot of Xena. Yes, and no man. And of course, we have uh, Paula Smith, uh, who gave us one of my favorite terms, Mary Sue, and also uh, pioneered the way in media fandom and in slash fan fiction. The website is up, uh, registration is all ready, uh, so feel free to go on there and check it out. Our PR Zero is being handed out by all of our fine volunteers here, and uh, if you look in the back, there's already a reg form, bring that over to the table and we'll help you out, or if you need to, there's a mailing address you can send it to as well. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, all of my committee before we continue and I show you lovely photos of the hotel in San